Hello everyone and welcome back to our Cricket 22 career mode. The series is back everyone. Today we are here for episode 33 of the series. We are fighting hard to try and win the Auckland 3 day shield in the club competition. Can we lift it for the first time in the career mode? Let's find out today. We are going to be simulating through a few wickets to see how we go. Kari picks up Jackson for 8. Great start from Amory Kari. Kalisa Tao, he's in very early with the ball. Picks up Kara for just four. They're two for 12. A massive partnership there, nearly 100 runs. 98 runs stand. Johnson on 64, not out. Parler gets 30. Atkinson picks him up. Ovia to the crease. Kari picks up Ovia for 16. Johnson on 75. And Victor Joe at the crease now, I think is the perfect time for us to come on and have a bowl in the next over here. All right, we are back with the ball. Here we go. 25 matches. Just the two wickets. All right, first ball. Oh, I tell you what, that is an absolute... I mean, it's not great. Not going to get too many people out. There we go. Going to toss it up. Worked away. Oh, good stop. Flight it up. Oh, there we go. That finishes a top over. Okay, we're bowling to Victor Joe now in the second over here. Right on the money. That is a good shot, but it's no run. We do kind of want to see Victor Joe score some runs here, if we're honest. Because, of course, we want to see where he win. But if Victor Joe can get some runs here, it would really help Auckland out for the rest of the Plunkett Shield season. Considering he's basically out of your opener now. Get him in some form, which is weirdly enough. Oh, my God. Is he out? Okay, no, he wasn't. And then the keeper went to stump him, but... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Here we go. He goes to stump him. He knocks off the bowels. He's not out. Then, look, Victor Joe literally walks out there. Oh my gosh. He technically could have been out had he waited a little bit longer, I guess. But, you know. Oh my gosh, Victor Joe. Saying that, I've actually reduced the run rate that the AI do score at. So in all fairness, you know, they are scoring at a slow rate against us because of that. Oh, and there you go. There's the first run. Not sure who that was, but I think they've dived over the ball. I don't know if we'll get there in the end. No, it's a good dive. And it'll just be the three. Anyway, Johnson is back on strike. Oh, that's a top shot. I can't really complain too much. And it's going to be Koi who brings out the drinks to the team. Leo Leo picks up Victor Joe for 19 of 51. Continues his poor run of form at the bat, Victor Joe. Nice, that's a top shot. That will go for four from Johnson. Moves to 99. Leo Leo, 99. Johnson, there it is. He flicks it away. You have to applaud it. Well played, Koo Johnson. He gets 100 off 134. 18 boundaries. Deserves a round of applause. He's a class player. Kari picks up Vader for three. Johnson on 103. Francis walks away for a two-ball duck. Alex Lee. Here he is. It's Alex Lee. He's here to the bat increase. It's time we take our revenge. We tried to get him out before with the ball. It didn't work. We are back. Four overs, three maidens, number for seven. We've got to try and get Johnson off strike. So we're going to try and bowl straight if we can. And that's exactly what happens. And he's whipped it. Everything's worked out. The problem is he's actually picked the gap. Oh, and he whips it away. It'll be four more. Gee, the fielder couldn't get there. I'm now conceding a bit of runs. But to be fair, Johnson is a good player. So good players are going to put away the bad balls. Here we go. They've blocked a run. All right, here we go. Alex Lee. Effort ball. Oh, get down, get down. Nowhere to go. If we get Alex Lee out, it'll be the moment of the series. Effort ball. Oh, no. Alex Lee. Carry. Picks up the big fish. Koo Johnson finally gone for 115. Alex Lee is joined by Amory Carey now. They want to take me off, but it's not happening yet. It's very funny that, like, we've played each other so often. And yet, like, we can't dismiss each other. He's now got a single. He's off striking. He's off the mark. Go and Googly again. I should have. I don't know if I should go this early, to be honest, but I have. Oh, and he plays it well again. Oh, it's on the money. This is a great battle here. Kari gets Kari. Amory Kari gone by Amory Kari for a 17-ball duck. Nima survives. This could be our last chance here. Alex Lee. He's on strike. He's got confidence. Actually, will we enforce the follow-on? That is a good question. I don't know. I think it might be 100. So we might yet get to enforce the follow-on. You know what's interesting? Alex Lee has the exact same batting style that I do. Coincidence? I think not. He's copying me. Bounce. Oh, bowled him! There it is! Alex Lee, what are you doing? We finally dismiss him. I can't believe it. It didn't turn. It went straight on. He plays across the line. 
He's got him. Alex Lee's gone. This is the moment of the career. Curry picks up five. The inning's done. He raises the ball. We might as well raise it as well. We've just got Alex Lee out. I can't believe it. But we have Bold Barker. There you go. Alex Lee gone for six off 34. Get around it. I do not quite believe it. But we've done it. Oh, revenge. Okay. Now, what's going to happen now? Are we, are we going to bat? No. Apparently, we're going out to bat. Okay, Cone. Walks out. 950's 200, average 35. Okay, let's go. So, after 16 overs, we're 54 without loss. Now, we lead by 165. So, I'm going to do the righteous thing. And I'm going to actually bump myself down the order above some of the other batters to give them more opportunities here. So, I think we'll probably have to come in a little bit later. We'll push Tiger, Tau, Valley Arnie ahead of myself before I come in ahead of Leo Leo. I think that's the, the goal here. Cone reaches twin 50s in the game. 57 off 88, not out. Gowie on 30. 93 for none so far. That means we lead by 200 already. Oh, it's day three now. 111 for none after 32. They're scoring quite quickly. At least Cone is. 72 off 102. We lead by 222. But there's still a lot of time left in the game. Oh, Alex Lee knocks over Cone for 82. Misses out on another 100. Tiger to the crease. Gowie on 61. We're on 150, which means we lead by, what, 262. If we get it to above 300, I feel like they will struggle to chase that. Also, the slow run rate as well on the, on the engine now that I've dropped the run rate that they go at will also help. So I feel like we probably only need like five or so more overs. Not too much longer here. 291. 292 to win. All right, I'm declaring. 309. That's it. We've got a lot of time today. I know Gowie is closing in on 173, but he's off 161 balls for the team. We are going to go ahead and we're going to try and see if we can defend this here. We're going to declare. Sorry, Gowie. I do apologize about that in advance, but your average does go up. And Tiga did a good job getting quick fire 32 of 44. Cone. We didn't face Alex Lee. Our battle will resume down the line, but we've declared it one for 198. First time I've ever seen that de declaration little symbol there. They need 310 to win. I doubt they'll do it. They've got enough time to do it. Atkinson strikes early. No, here Jackson gone for just three. Koo Johnson has to go and score a lot of runs here. Tao gets Kara caught and bowled for 27. Two for 42. Kari picks up the big wicket. Kari gets Johnson for 24, and that is pretty much the match done and dusted here. And there's no way they're going to get close to 300 now. We're on track for an outright win here. Atkinson strikes, gets Ovia for 34. I think they're trying to see out the draw at this point. Atkinson picks up Victor Joe for just 9. Not good news for the Auckland Aces with Victor Joe not being able to score a single run, really. Atkinson picks up Parla for 21. He's got four for. Vedder gets run out for four by the keeper. Alex Lee to the crease. Leo Leo picks up Dean Francis. And before we know it, this game is done and dusted here. Leo Leo. He's got one for 18. Target of 310. I'm trying to see the overs remaining here. Which would be quite interesting because it is getting later in the day. We're at 4.45, so we've still got plenty of time, I think. It looks like we're going to win either way. We're going to win on first innings or we're going to win outright. I'm glad that we declared when we did because, gee, look at this. Like, we're all over them. 310 sort of seemed doable to a degree, but they just have not got close. All right, I've got Amory Kari to return to Amory Kari. He's also a slinger. You have got to be kidding me. I've got three slingers in my lineup. I can't believe that. Atkinson will come back. He's got four for. And it works. Alex Lee's gone for 11 off 36. Atkinson picks up a five wicket haul. That means both of our opening fast bowlers get five wicket hauls each in this match. That is incredible. Atkinson on five. I don't know how many overs left in the day, and I don't know if it will show up, but the light is start starting to fade. All right, we've got a silly in place. One for 27. We're here for the final wicket. I just want to see this match wrapped up here. Drives! No! Short! We were up as well. Oh, there's not much you can do about that then. He slings it as well! Oh, no! I wonder what time we play to, because it's 5.30 now. Overs remaining, but you can't see it very much anymore. Edged! Oh! We are going to bring Vi on. I feel like I haven't given him much chance to succeed. A, sh a short leg. Oh, no! Vi, what a beauty. We go on to bolt. That's quite straight! Oh, no! 
How is it not carried? Oh my gosh, I think it's only just bounced there. We've seen those claims though. I'm gonna turn to out Callister Tower again. I just have a feeling, he, you know, he's one of those players that you bring in, he's a bit of a golden arm. You bring him in, he's gonna make something happen. That's exactly how I feel right now, and it's worked. An absolute treat. I nearly didn't appeal. That would have been a mistake and a half. There you go. How did that not count as like you had to appeal for that? He's like chipped it straight to the player. It doesn't matter. My gut instinct does work on this occasion. Tao was the player to do something. He just chipped it up. An easy, easy catch there for Vi, who runs off and celebrates. And five for Harry Atkinson with the helmet on. Yes. I don't know how we've done that. We win by 139, and I get the play of the match for the first time. I get, check this out, the achievement unlocked. There it is. We wrap it up. We didn't even get the interview. It didn't even give me an interview, but I guess the fact that I even got a check at all is outstanding. Callister Tao, get around it. He gets the last wicket. I just knew it. I had a gut feeling. It's like, I'm just going to chuck the ball to Callister Tao. Straight away, he chips it straight to Vi. Nima goes for two. Kari is 22, not out 42. And we win the player of the match for getting 162 off 280 in the first innings. Setting up a 139 run win for Wurry. And we, for the first time, will lift the Auckland Club Cricket Shield in the three-day format. Get around it. Very good set at the club. The skill ups go wild and I sit there, I mean I'm looking glum but I shouldn't be at all looking glum I should be very very happy. In fact we're having a cutscene of some sort here. Here we go The coach, that was brilliant from you all Well done. Thank you coach, I appreciate it. Because we did indeed lift the shield and we're going to get a press conference as well Goodness me, it's all going down. I mean, we did get 162 in the first innings, which is a big achievement. Here we are. We've got the weary kit on. Walking into a press conference here. See what we all have to say. We just won a three-day shield. I bet the coach has had some choice of words to say about the overall performance this season. We've just won the shield. We've lost one game all season. I don't generally listen to the coach. I'm out there to play my own game. Especially if our coach is talking nonsense because we just won. Well, thank you for your time. Enjoy the break and we'll see you next season. Thanks, you too. I know I probably didn't answer that first question very well. You know, you're coming at me for losing, but we just won the shield for the first time. The Auckland Region Championship is now complete. We can't see what's going on. We can't see the standings and whatnot. Pretty disappointing, but it's okay. We get some knockout games for Worry later on, so we will see what's going on. We'll get to see the wrap-up of the season down here anyways. We move to McLean Park. We're a French member of the Aces still. We're, we're just skilling up like crazy. All because of Worry as well. Worry is definitely helping us skill up a lot. So with that, we're playing our next game. Hang on. We're traveling to McLean Park in Napier. But before we do, we have a sponsorship offer. Here we go. We've got Momentum, Equipment Sponsor, Tech Endorsement, Athos, and Bob's Dogs Hot Dogs. I'd like to say I'd like a different food and beverage endorsement, but Bob's Dogs Hot Dogs. I can't deny Bob's Dogs Hot Dogs. I mean, that's just great. I'm going for that. In our next match, we are back again for the Plunkett Shield. We are traveling to Napier right now. Here we are. We've got the laptop out. Oh, now we, we skipped one day ahead. Now we're on the bus. We're still a fringe member of the Auckland Aces side. I don't know quite why, to be honest, because I feel like our rating's much better than that. But we'll once again be out to prove ourselves in the next match. Let's take a look at our first class statistics. 98 runs at 24.5. It's been pretty poor. Strike rate's good, 60. But we've only had 150 and a lot of failures in between that. Now it is the time to try and turn that all around against the Central District side at McLean Park, the first time we're playing a Plunkett Shield game there. So, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and until next time, everyone, take care.